all know, it's back to school time around here, and that means everyone's thinking about getting those school lunches and healthy meals together for their kids and their families. And maybe you've been wondering and wanting to make a change in choosing those healthy foods that would keep your family energized and keep them on the right path to staying healthy and in shape. And you may have some questions about which foods are really the best ones. Well, joining us today are Chris Chen and Katie Pratt, who are actual farmers with the U.S. Farmers and Ranchers Alliance, and they're here to give us some tips. Hello, everyone. Hello. Good morning. Thank you very much for having us. Absolutely. Um, we both have kids that are headed back to school here shortly, and so top of mind for us is what's going to be in that school lunchbox or what we're preparing for after school snacks. And one thing that we've discovered is by keeping your kids involved in that decision-making process of what goes in that lunch pack, will help the food be consumed at school and it won't come back home again, which is always a plus. And it also gives us great opportunities to talk to our kids about where food comes from. And I know that Chris spends a lot of time with her kids on that, that process. We do. In our family, we sit down and we talk about what the kids want to see in their lunch each week. We talk about the importance of making sure we have a protein, a grain, a fruit, and a vegetable in their lunch box. So we make out our shopping list and then we head to the grocery store. And when we get to the grocery store, I let my daughter go to the produce section and I let her choose the fruits and the vegetables that she wants to eat. And we talk about the family farm that's behind that fruit or vegetable that helped produce it so that we, she could have it in her lunch. And then as we move through the grocery store, we talk about the food labels and what they mean to our family because labels mean different things to different people. And so our family, we focus on the nutritional value of a product. There's a lot of labels out there today, organic, natural, local. And so we know as farmers and ranchers that the nutritional content of all of these products are the same. And so I want to teach that to my children as well, as well as staying on the budget when we go to the grocery store too. And then when we get home, we start preparing the meals together. Anything that we can pre prepare ahead of time, we do so that we can get around earlier of a morning and the kids don't miss that school bus. You touched on something that is a really hot topic right now. When you go to the grocery store, you hear the word, you see the words organic. And can you just touch on what organic versus non-organic means and what it really, how it impacts the food and what the difference of it is? Yes, organic is really organic, sustainable, all natural, all those terms that you see on food labels. They talk about the how of food production, so how something was raised, and it's not necessarily describing the nutritional value of that food. So, for example, you see the certified organic label on a food product. That means that the farm that it came from has followed a very strict set of guidelines that was laid out by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Um, and then they're able to go ahead and put that label on there. All natural is another term that we might see quite often and that one's a little more of a gray area just because there's not a standard set of guidelines or a definition really it's it's more in how you determine or decide what all natural is to you um, as Chris said though the great thing about it is that we have choice in our supermarkets at our farmers markets that 95% of the farms in the United States are family owned and operated so we can be confident that our food is coming from family farms, um, that people who care about their land and their livestock.